I've got the file. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet! Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. It belongs in a museum. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. What? You heard me, Festa. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Festa. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So my idol belongs in a museum, eh? Uh... Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Uh... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Bull! Murfinkov! Dwingley? I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm, this might actually turn out to be a pretty good day.
I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. Huh, who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Festa wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be... preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly. is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass.
Stop! You must pay a toll. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. While the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. I'll just go and find out. Good day. What's so good about it? None shall pass. None shall pass. Oh, a red herring. Pass. Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Well, I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said, but I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against... The Machine. The Machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes! Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Distance! Distance! Watch your footwork. No! Beat first, then lunge! No! Beat first, then lunge! Use your forte against the foible! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kinda like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. 
Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult, one that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting and I say to you, you fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with, So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? Oh, yeah? I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah, oh. A correct response to, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, yeah? I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win! Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Oh, yeah? You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, yeah? I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> uncle! Uncle! Move out of the way, or I cut me way through. 
My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh yeah? You have the manners of a beggar. I am rubber, you are glue. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win. Move out of the way or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh, I'm shaken, oh, I'm shaken. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh, yeah? You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I give up. You win. Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I am rubber, you are glue. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Oh, your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? <laughs> you fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, yeah? You're good enough to fight the sword master. Danger, open ravine. Thank you.
How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. My tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. Even before they smell your breath? If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. Oh, yeah? My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Even before they smell your breath? My name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. Oh, yeah? Only once have I met such a coward. Oh, yeah? I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. Why, did you want to borrow one? I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here, this should convince them. So confused. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. <laughs> I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. 
But hey, good luck. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Attention, pirates of melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. 